Hello everyone, welcome to this week's episode of Cook and Weekly. Joining us this week is a special guest from Signoir, Abby Nisali, our newly minted customer engagement marketing manager. And well, I thought since Cook and Weekly is born out of Cookout, a great conference in Chicago is going to be this year from the 14th to the 17th of August, I thought I'd ask Abby to come in and tell everything about Cookout and in particular about the quarter games and the activities we'll have there. So thank you for joining us, Abby. Yes, of course. I'm so excited to uh, make another appearance on KluCon Weekly. It's been a while, so I'm I'm looking forward to it. We we'll like having our guests back when it's great conversations. So super happy to have you. So for those of you people that don't know you, would you like to give us a quick introduction about yourself and how you got into the Frisbee world? Tell your your family name sort of gives it away. You should have changed that, but still. I know. <laughs> I need like a pen name, I think, but no. <laughs> <laughs> um, my name is Abby Minasali. Um, I've been involved uh, in the free switch world and the Klucon world for a very long time, for almost as long as I can remember. Uh, <laughs> you guys might be familiar with Anthony Minasali, <laughs> my father. Um, so I've been involved with free switch for a very long time. I know he likes to tell this story about how when I was in the first grade, he invented free switch. So I could talk to one of my my friends who moved away um, on the phone, uh, <laughs> which I don't think is the real reason, but he likes to tell that story. Um, but then I got uh, more involved uh, when I was uh, a young professional a while ago um, in KluCon. Uh, I started writing blogs for the free switch community and started getting involved that way, like kind of sticking my toes in the water. And then uh, I think it all really took off when I officially joined the team. Um, this was before SignalWire even was born. So I joined the free switch team doing content strategy. Uh, and that's also where the Coder Games was born about six or seven years ago, which is my favorite event at KluCon. Um, even though it's hard to choose, they're all pretty good. But <laughs> um, that's kind of a quick overview of how I yeah. got involved. But yeah, I love the community. I've been involved for a long time. So yeah, let's talk about the quarter games and all the other challenges at KluCon. The most fun part of the conference is always, well, that and uh, looking at the Italian people reactions <laughs> to Chicago pizza. Those are the two my two favorite things. But the quarter games are even more fun than Chicago pizza. So I think we're going back to G Giordano's. I think that's we used to go there all the time. The deep dish pizza, they're like famous. Um the whole restaurant has writing all over the walls. Like people are allowed to graffiti over it. And we used to go there back like seven years ago. And we stopped and started going to somewhere else instead. But I think we're going back to Giordano's. So you'll get, you can uh, scoff at the people. I actually, I actually like that. I actually like that. But I think uh, that will make my, get my Italian passport revoked. So that's pretty much it. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. quarter games. Uh, yes, last, quarter games. Last couple, we had an episode a few weeks ago about what we were doing in uh, other, other challenges and other, uh, other activities. But what's the, what's the quarter games about? And how is it going to be this year? So the Coder Games is our version of a hackathon here at KluCon, but it's a little bit different. It's got a bit of a twist. Um, it's a little bit less focused on coding and work and creating a project. And it's more about networking and getting to know everybody. So we have two events that are set in stone this year. We've got the Free Cycle Hacks event, and then we've got the Maker Challenge. Uh, for those of you who have been to KluCon before, uh, I'm sure you're familiar with those. But for those who haven't, uh, our free cycled hacks is a challenge where you have to make a contraption out of everyday household objects. Uh, and we got the idea for that. It sounds a little bit uh, unorthodox, but uh, I got a lot of feedback that when people are at these conferences, when people are away from work, they don't want to do more work. Like they're there to learn and they're there to make connections in the industry. And it's not exactly fun to say like, hey, like spend 24 hours coding, even though that's what you do every day. So people want to break. Um, so we've done crazy things that we've built bridges out of popsicle sticks and PVC pipes. And we've made boats and we've done crazy <laughs> things like that. Um, projectiles. Uh, somebody made a crossbow out of popsicle sticks. Mm -hmm. um, but this year, I remember that one. Yeah, yeah, that, 
like I've seen some impressive stuff. We've also seen some epic fails, which we celebrate just as equally. Um, but I'll talk about that more later. Uh, this year, we're doing a classic egg drop because uh, we're going to be at a new hotel. Uh, mm-hmm. I don't think we've ever rented this one. It's the Drake in still in Chicago, but it's a new hotel. And they actually have a balcony. And I couldn't pass up that opportunity. I heard balcony and immediately thought egg drop. So start prepping ideas. Uh, we'll have lots of stuff, rubber bands and pipes and saws and hot glue mm-hmm. guns. And I always, my number one rule of the coder games is there's no such thing as cheating. So anything oh. you can use. So I'm really excited about that. Hopefully we don't make too much of a mess. Uh, we'll be invited back to the Drake, I hope. <laughs> uh, and then there's the maker challenge, which is a little bit more traditional um, when you think hackathon. Uh, so we have Arduino boards and we are challenging people to connect uh, a sensor to a Sega wire phone call. So nice. I know I have a few ideas. Um, I was thinking I might make like a little brooch and you guys can yeah. see this if you want, but a little brooch with a sensor, like maybe like an ultrasonic sensor. So it knows when something's close to it. And so it'll call me. And I might even connect it to AI. So like, I'll get a fake phone call from like a fake roommate who's like, Abby, I need you to like, come fix the pipe. Like, I'm like, oh, I have to go, I have to go. <laughs> that's going to be super fun. Yeah, that, that's a good idea. Someone will steal it though. So now that's you need a new fine. one. I'll come up with a new one. You can that's have good. that for free. I know, I think- They don't let me participate. Well, you can participate, you just can't win. <laughs> 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 oh, there's plenty of other things to do. Very, very, very good. If you impress us enough, then maybe. <laughs> well, we'll but try. I'm very excited. We've we've had some fun maker challenges in the past. We've done, I think, what are the ones we've done? We've done self-driving cars, and we had a race to see who could get through the obstacle course first. Oh yeah, it was a blast. We've had a group of people like gathered around cheering for these cars would like get confused and turn around the wrong direction it was a blast so i'm very much looking forward to this i think it gives everybody a chance to be very creative but in a fun way where you can kind of let loose and work in a team and get to know each other so i'm really excited so this year's uh signal wire challenge and the coder games going to be all in one essentially yeah, I think so. Um, I mean, we always reserve the right to change our minds because, you know, creativity strikes <laughs> whenever it feels like. But yeah, I think this year the Signal Wire Challenge and the Maker Challenge are co- going to be best friends this year. Uh, since we're challenging people to make that phone call, uh, you'll get to play around with our Signal Wire APIs, but in a fun way. Um, so there's no pressure to, you know, build the world's biggest next thing. You don't have to change the world. Uh, we just want to have some fun and test around and play with our APIs and get creative and meet new people. Nice. So uh, what else happens at Glucon aside from the talks? Which is <laughs> we, we always focus on the talks, but there's other events planned too, right? We're going to have oh. dangerous demos coming up. Yeah, I don't know if we're doing dangerous demos this year. I think we are, but we'll definitely have something like it. Um, I I love the talks. We always have like very, very, very industry talks. Like they're not salesy, like it's industry experts. But I think my favorite part of Kukon is what happens yeah. around the talks. People always say, um, my dad always says Kukon is like college in a week. Because you no, spend all the time learning. <laughs> but then, perfect, yeah. No, you're at class all day long learning from all these experts. And then we have uh, an event every night, um, a networking event, so that you can get to know people in the industry. And I always think that's the most valuable part. Uh, community is very important to me, and it's very important to the Free Switch Open Source Project, and it's very important to SignalWire. Um, so that's my favorite part is is building that sense of community and that you really get that when you get to talk to people one-on-one. I know we've got some cool events. I don't know the exact plan. Um, 
but I know we're going to have maybe a theme at the Gigabit reception this year. I know the last two years, KluCon was in October, which is not normal for us. Um, we're usually in August every year. Uh, so those of us who have been to KluCon um, know that it kind of felt like Christmas in July last year. Oh, yeah. Year. It was a little weird. It, it was fun. But, uh, you know, of course, that was because of COVID. We had to push the dates back. Um, but one good part about that is the Gigabit reception was always Halloween themed. Um, and I really yeah, love that. Great, I really yeah. miss that. It was like, great. We got to dress up for Halloween with everybody. Um, so this year, of course, it's not going to be a costume party, but I do think we'll have a theme to the party. I think I don't want to spoil too much. But it's a lot of fun. It's always so. fun. So. Well, let us know what kind of clothes we need to bring, right? <laughs> I will. I will. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's a good point, too. Check, uh, make sure everybody uh, follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Um, smash that subscribe button because uh, we're always announcing new things like themes to our parties and who's sponsoring what parties, what events we're going to be doing, because I know we have some fun events planned as well. Um, and we also have flash sales going on all the time. So keep an eye out for that. Yeah. That Big is one's coming up. So. <laughs> yeah, there's always one coming up. Yeah, just keep an eye out of that. Yeah, I don't. The technical stuff also is going to be interesting. But it's always uh, a lot of cool speakers and very interesting topics. And Glucon, I mean, I always say Glucon is my favorite conference, but it's it's just because it is. Not uh, I actually will say Glucon pay, plays a huge part in why I'm part of Second War now. It's uh, really where I met everyone, and yeah, I mean, I started. With consulting so i met everyone there and it became you know a yearly occurrence and then we made friends and then we decided to try and build something together so it's really it is i mean it's part of my history too it's really fun but about that if anybody has technical questions there's always going to be someone from the engineering or product team at the conference and come look for us come ask us for come ask us questions come we have solutions to show you we'll have a lot of demos Speaking of which, maybe we should rename the dangerous demos to dangerous and known dangerous demos, and we'll do a section for things that actually work. <laughs> so, uh, no, that's not a bad idea. We've been thinking like maybe of doing like a Shark Tank style event. So, wow, if yeah. you're watching this and that sounds interesting to you, shoot either me or Luca or just in the public Slack channel. Um, it's signalwire.community. Let us know or just comment on this or, um, you know, shoot us a message on Facebook. But if that's something interesting, let us know, because we definitely tailor the event to our attendees. Um, over the years, we take that feed in. That's why Klukon is what it is today. Um, but yeah, we well, were thinking about... Me in trouble. <laughs> this will get me in trouble with marketing. So you. But uh, what if we were Shark Tank event of sorts and the prize is something like $500 in signal wire credits so people can actually build their idea? Oh, oh that's cool. a really good idea. That's that a really good cool. idea. And if you get started now. Yeah, yeah, let us know if that would be interesting. I if, think that's a great idea. If you like your idea, you get $500. Plus, Donald Trump is not going to be part of the panel, which makes it a bit No. <laughs> It was the well, Trump was actually part of that show, right? At some point, Dark so, so, yeah, was he? Yeah, I think it's like I the first that. season or something like that. It was, I uh, believe you, but I never saw that one. I think, it, I think it got very it got too busy after that, so it was just one season, but I'm pretty sure it was. Okay, yeah, well, Shark Tank is very <laughs> it's a cool show. I don't think he would answer our call, even if we wanted him to. So. <laughs> Well, the Trump Tower is not far away, so maybe we do that. that. That is true. <laughs> cool. We could so, get yeah, some other uh, judges. Maybe, Luca, you could be a judge. <laughs> well, I've built a lot of applications, so I can certainly tell you what I like. I can probably help people more than judge people, So, but super happy to help, whatever. Yeah. Definitely. Last year, I got to MC part of Luca, and it was super fun, but also super stressful. And I'll <laughs> do it again happily. <laughs> Yeah, I think I got I got volunteered to do that this year. So you'll anyone who's coming to Klucon will see a lot of Luca and I. Anyone who has a well, I, as a, someone who's a who has a foreign family name or name, 
Uh, I apologize in advance for butchering your, your family <laughs> names on stage. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I try to ask, but it never works out quite right. <laughs> that is the hardest part, I think, of that job. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it is. Uh, it is. So many people, well, that's, that's a good point about, about Glucon. So, so we have so many people coming over from all parts of the world that sometimes yeah. we literally don't know how to read their name. That's so we just ask. I, like sometimes people will bring fun snacks from like uh, their country, even, you know, if it's just like Italian chocolates or like French cookies. That's one of my favorite parts. <laughs> Yeah. Little trinkets. I'm like, oh my gosh, this is so cool. So oh, I, I Chelsea's messaging me. Um, I forgot to mention we've also got a poker night on Wednesday. I think technically it's casino night, but I'll be at the poker table because I'm weirdly good at poker. So <laughs> you seem to be, yeah. You 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 were very good last year. So yeah, I think this is the third year we're doing it. Um, I won the first year, not to brag. Second year, I got second place because, um, you know, I kind of lost my edge. So maybe this year, maybe I'll bet some uh, raffle tickets. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Those those raffle tickets are like, you know, they're the most sought after item. <laughs> at the I year. know. Like, like, everybody I'm wants a raffle ticket. Just to clarify, there's no betting going on. This is just for fun. But, you know, maybe as the night goes on, I'll throw a couple raffle tickets on the, <laughs> on the pot. <laughs> Makes things more interesting, right? As they say yeah. in the movies, like, will this make things more interesting? <laughs> Versus a big pile of raffle tickets in the middle of it. Some cool swag, maybe. I've got, I've got some cards against technology. I can just... <laughs> We played that last week. We had fun. Oh, it's yeah. always fun. Yeah. Time to time, we just pull that. It's always fun. I love that. Oh, by that. the way, is, you think the call for sponsors and speakers is still open? I think the call for sponsors is? Um. Yeah. Yeah. I I do believe it is. I, I know we're always looking for speakers. So even if you missed the date, um, feel free to shoot us an email. And yeah, we're still looking for sponsors. Uh, we've got all these fun events that uh, we've been talking about. We've got a welcome dinner on Monday. We've got the gig of it on Tuesday, which is just the networking event at our hotel uh, in the in the room, in the ballroom. There we go, um, which is always a lot of fun. Uh, we've got games and then we pull out the karaoke, which is my favorite part. Uh, and then we've got the casino night on Wednesday, which is prohibition themed, which I'm very excited about. Um, it's in with Chicago. So if you're interested in sponsoring, um, we've also got uh, vendor booths. It is a smaller conference by design. Um, so we don't have a big expo hall, but we do have space for booths. And it's really nice and intimate uh, because we've got like about 300 attendees. Um, you really get to have those personal conversations with people rather than, you know, in a big expo hall where people are coming to you to sell you stuff or just stealing your swag um, <laughs> or taking the swag, you know. Um, so if you're interested in any of that, uh, check out klucon.com slash sponsors. Yeah, and come join us. It's a really yeah. fun event, and it's going to be a great time as usual. I'm really looking forward to it. It's, uh, I know. I'm so excited. And we don't I have to think wait as long this year. It's I'm like probably long. getting my 10th year badge this year. I need to double check, but it's probably my 10th. So, Congratulations. Yeah, yeah those people will be there for longer, like you being there for forever. <laughs> I think you beat me, though. I think I this will be like my eighth. Oh, nice. Well, there, yeah. yeah. There's people who have... It, we should go find people who have... So if you have been all Glucons, yeah. by all means, reach out to us. Please. And uh, we'll... we'll Maybe least, we should get a special t-shirt. That's like, yeah, yeah. Oh, so this Glucon OG. Like, or I was at the first Glucon and all I, I got... Don't think, I don't think Tony, <laughs> Ryan, and Mike get, get one. Because it's the rules. <laughs> okay, they get one for sure, but you might get to match them. <laughs> <laughs> and cool. I want to hear stories about the first ClueCon, so yes. 
reach out to us so I can talk to you. <laughs> yeah, that would be that would be super fun. Cool. So, uh, well, Abby, thank you so much for joining us yeah. today. It's uh, cool. is going to be a blast, and well, the Arduino stuff is going to be super interesting. I do have some Arduinos and Raspberries sitting around. I've done some demos and stuff, so maybe there's a few ideas I can bring to help people yeah. get started. And uh, well, again, thank you so much for joining us today. Yeah. Oh, and we've got awesome prizes. I forgot to say, how can I? Oh yeah, please. <laughs> we've got. This isn't just for free. We will give you cool prizes <laughs> for participating, and we've even got epic fail prizes. So sometimes, if your thing just crashes epically, you can still win a prize. Um, so yeah, join us. Like like uh, Luca said, um, it's going to be so great. It's going to be the best year ever. I say that every year, but it's always true. Uh, and I can't wait to meet some new people and see some old friends. Absolutely. And likewise, I'll be there and super happy to talk to anyone, show you around what we're doing with SignalWire, share some research ideas and in general, help people. I And if I have to MC, just come to me and provide me a, your name in a well spelled out piece of paper. Like, here's how you say this. And well, I'll be I, you that part. <laughs> Or, and I'll make sure I don't butcher it too much. Otherwise, it's still going to be all good fun and we'll have a lot of fun together. Again, thank you, Abby, for joining us today. And for the rest of the people, I'll see you next week. Goodbye.